back at the hut today and it's just as I left it thankfully nothing's been touched so today I'll be continuing on with the roof and I'll hopefully finish that off now this is interesting so I'm just going over there to where the saplings are and I'm crossing the river right now and I've just come across a tiny little dead fish uh, on the river bed here it looks like it's got its guts open or something like that so that's interesting I wonder what's caused that to happen um, whether it was a person or a bigger fish or whatever but that's quite interesting to see that just while I'm walking across the river but that tells me that there are fish in the river even just for small ones like that and I've seen bigger fish like trout so that's pretty interesting isn't it and now I'd literally just stopped recording that other bit there about the fish and I've just stumbled across some feathers here so I know where these will be useful <laughs> So I've laid them all on and uh, most of them fit pretty well, most of them are pretty straight. I've got a lot of ones that don't fit on because they're not straight enough. Um, so I've just got a little bit of a gap here so I might have to go over and get some straighter ones um, just to replace a couple of these really bent ones as well that I've actually got on the roof. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll be finished with the roof. For now, until I have to start with flax, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be a pretty big job. I'm going to be putting flax pretty much between each of those sticks on the roof on both sides. I think it's going to look pretty good afterwards, though. And yeah, here it is, and here we have it it's a mostly finished roof. So I'd say it's about half done. Next up would be the flax. And that's going to also take quite a while, I think. It'll just basically all be um, cutting the flax and then preparing it properly. And then obviously laying it onto the roof. So yeah, that'll be the next video, I guess. Once this hut is completely finished, I've got a couple of other projects that I want to get underway. And one of them is a fire so I want to build a fire about right here where I've piled all this waste and I think here would be a, the best position because straight above there's a bit more of a gap in the vegetation than over there or even over there so and it's also close to my hut but not too close so it won't burn it down so yeah I'll probably build a fire here and then once I get a source of clay I want to hopefully turn it into like an oven or something uh, or a furnace and I think that would be really really cool so I'm gonna go get some larger stones if I can find any over the river just there and I'll bring them back and store them for next time when I'm actually making the fire and as you can see there's not very many huge stones here 
so that's not very ideal. I have to really search for them. There's some larger ones over here, and here's a really big one. And that's about the size I want, so I have to search for them, unfortunately, this far down the river. So here's the stones that I managed to find, and it took such a long time to get them all here. Um, right now, I've got this piece of bamboo that's got two nodes, and in the middle is just air, so I'm going to take this top node out, and then leave the bottom one in, and then I'll be able to... Well, I'll be able to use it to carry things like water or shingle or something. So I'll just uh, do that now. So I'm going to get this little sharp um, stick. Just put it in there and then hammer it down from the top here. And hopefully they'll break it. There you go. Good hole in there. So I'll be able to carry water in that now. <laughs> 